For the last 30 years, marine biologists from the Long Marine Laboratory have been tagging elephant seals at Northern California's Año Nuevo State Reserve. About 2,500 elephant seals breed and molt at Año Nuevo for 10 weeks each year. During their months at sea, where they dive thousands of feet into the ocean throughout the day, they gather data about the ecosystem. Samples from their blubber identify concentrations of heavy metals in the ocean, and the satellite tags they wear are used to map areas of the ocean previously unknown to scientists. Researcher Jason Hasrick says a good tagging candidate is skinny with longer hair to glue the tags onto. To help them in this process, they check a database that shows which seals have been tagged during their earlier research. This also helps identify the age of the seal. Once they find an ideal seal, the team of four researchers embarks on the two to three hour process by isolating the animal. This isn't as easy as one would think. Though the seals are more bark than bite, they do bite. One researcher, Dan Crocker, described it as feeling like being stabbed by a screwdriver. Then researchers drug the seal with a light dose of telazole, a powerful tranquilizer. If the seals are given too much, they'll go into a dive response and stop breathing. Elephant seals react to danger by diving. To keep as much oxygen in their bodies as possible, their heart rate slows and blood vessels in their extremities constrict while they hold their breath, which they can do in the ocean for more than an hour. While they're on land, they often hold their breath for a half hour. This response can be scary for researchers because they never know if the seals are going to start breathing again. Then they gather blood samples, use an ultrasound to measure the seal's blubber count or thickness, and note its length and width. Females typically average between 9 and 10 feet long during the molting season. The males can grow to be 14 to 16 feet long. Researchers use a powerful epoxy to glue two tags to the seal. One is a pressure sensor that measures the depths to which the seals dive. The other is a tag that sends a signal to a satellite so that researchers can locate the seal. After taking a blubber sample, the researchers will take on the most daunting task, weighing the seal. Females can weigh almost as much as 900 pounds, and males can weigh two and a half tons. Then, the seal is released with its new tags. Together, the tags can weigh almost two pounds, less than 1% of the seal's total body mass. That would be like a 150-pound person having a paperback novel strapped to their back.